Hey, what's good, fam? Coach Rod here. We're going to talk about never rush into a relationship. A relationship takes time. And a relationship is something that you got to build. And you cannot build nothing without a foundation. A lot of people are rushing into a relationship and, and they have not built a foundation with that person. Um, they just meet and then a week later, they're in a relationship, they're in the bed having sex. See, so this is why, you know, I teach you know, women not to start off having sex with a man, not to start off with friend with benefit, and then you try to reverse it and go to the man. Like I said before, somebody, I saw a video of a coach who taught how to reverse a friend with benefit situation. And um, and she was saying, you know, go to that person and tell them, hey, cut it off with them because you want something serious. You want something, you know, long term. And don't tell him that you want it to be him, but let him say, well, let me be the one that you be serious with and be long term with and then go from there. That's why I disagree with that, because listen to me, whenever a woman start off having sex with a man with family benefits, sex clouds your judgment. And I, I you know, and I want you all to understand this, you know, it, it forms a soul tie in the spirit realm. But in the natural realm, what it does is when a woman and a man have sex, it releases a hormone called oxytocin. See, a lot of these coaches, they, they, they mean well, but they don't, they, don't, they don't really teach you the right thing. I'm going to teach you the right way. Listen to me. When, you have, when a man and woman have sex, they both release a hormone called oxytocin. But the woman releases more oxytocin in her body than men. That same hormone, oxytocin, is the hormone that a woman make her attachment to her child. The same hormone that is released when a woman is breastfeeding her child or giving birth to a child. That is why a, a woman so attached to that child because of that hormone, oxytocin. That's why women love, love their child. That's why women are connected to their child. And, and, and nothing that child does is going to stop that mother from loving that child. That's why women have unconditional love for their child because of that oxytocin being released when they was in childbirth. And that same oxytocin is released when you and the man are having sex. And when you catch an orgasm, you release more oxytocin in that man. Now, you don't start off with a family benefits. This is why I tell some women, oh, you can, you can do it with a man. Don't catch no feeling. Listen to me. Listen to me. You, you may can do that, but you skate no dangerous ground. It's just not right to do that. you got to build a foundation. And when you start off rushing into a relationship, start off having sex, you just met a man two weeks later because he said he want to marry you. He want to lock you down and make you his wife. All the good things you want to hear. Then all of a sudden now, because he said that two weeks later, you in the bedroom with your legs wide open. You think you got yourself a man. Now you in an abusive relationship. Now this man beating you upside the head. Now this man have lowered your self-esteem down because he put you down, telling you you ain't nothing. Nobody want to be with you. And you actually believe in that mess because you build the relationship on the wrong foundation. When you start off rushing to a relationship and build it upon sex, or you don't build a, a firm foundation, that, 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 that it's not going to last. It's just like building a house on sand. Whenever you're building something, it have to have a firm foundation. The foundation is the most important part of, of the house. If that foundation is not, not built right, made right, it's not going to last. The house ain't going to last. And that's the same thing with relationship. So it takes time to build. And the foundation of the relationship should be connection. Connection. If you can't connect with a person other than just sex, other than they look good, the relationship is not going to last. You need to establish a connection first. What it means to connect with somebody is two people coming together, coming together as one without conflict. That means when you're dating somebody or doing a talking stage, that person automatically make you a priority. You ain't got to fight for nobody to spend time with you. You ain't got to run behind them, blow their phone up. You ain't got to do all this stuff. When it's a connection there, y'all going to come together. For an example, 
I have a LG Android, and this is um an Android charger as well. But you know, this charge my Samsung, but it won't charge my LG. So if I take this to individual, this is where the connection is coming together. But the, the, the key thing is they have to be compatible. Because this LG is not compatible with this this charger here, it won't connect. It won't connect. It won't connect. This, and this is what happened when you are with somebody that you can't connect with. You got to force and you got to spend time with me. Call me. Make me a priority. Do this. Do this. And y'all bumping head. Y'all bumping head. I don't, I don't feel comfortable with you having um, female friends or male friends. And, 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 you know, oh, these my male friends. I ain't going to let them go. And all this stuff, y'all. Y'all ain't connecting. But this is my Samsung tablet. And I got the same charger and it goes right in. That's what connection is. Two individuals coming together without conflict. In the good book, it says, how can two walk together unless they agree? And that is the number one reason why divorce rate is high. Because people are not compatible. You, you, you got to build a foundation of connection before any relationship should be ready to, to last. So while you're doing the talking stage or the dating stage, if you're trying to ask questions and talk to this person and they don't want to answer questions, they get irritated with you. They, they're telling you, hey, we'll talk about it later, shutting you down whenever you want to talk. That means y'all are not connected. They're not trying to build a foundation of connection and y'all going to be bumping heads. This is why I recommend, you know, to keep sex out of it in the beginning. And I understand everybody may not be a Christian. Everybody may not want to wait till they get married. They're between you and God. I'm not here to judge nobody. I don't condone that. You know, but if you're a Christian, you should do it God's way. You know, and wait and honor God. If you're not a Christian, that's your business. I don't expect you to do it God's way because you're not professing to be nothing. But one thing I do want to say is don't rush and give a man your body and you have not established a connection with that man. You got to understand this here. This is why I don't recommend starting off having sex. Take your time. Talk. Get to know each other. Do not rush into a relationship. You have to build upon a relationship. Y'all got to start off talking, then start off dating. And during that time, you're collecting data and you're using your intuition. And, and see, this is very important. When you keep sex out of it and doing that, your judgment is much sharper. But once you get sex in it, involved in it, all the stuff that I'm saying to you is going to be off. Now, that's why you marry or you in an exclusive relationship with somebody and the communication is not there. Because guess what? You never establish a connection. And you telling a man or telling a woman, hey, I need you to spend more time with me. And I feel like, it, and, they gonna, and they understand everything you're saying. They hear everything you're saying. But they're going to come up with every excuse in the world to not give you time. Because you know why? They are not connected. Y'all never establish a connection. So a relationship takes time. You know, you got to first establish a connection with that person that's talking and getting along and y'all just going out, talking to each other, spending time with each other, just coming together, coming into agreement, walking, uh, walking in agreement together. That's how you got to start off first. Establish a connection, then start with the communication, things like that. Don't just rush into a relationship. You meet somebody and a week later, y'all in a relationship. Two weeks later, y'all having sex in the bed. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It takes time. And I know some people may have gotten married within one week or two weeks in a month. They happy. Listen, I'm not saying it won't never work, but it's it just not ideal. These days, you can't rush into a relationship. You have to take your time and build up into a relationship. You know, it's, it's a walk going on out there in, in the relationships, man. And, 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 you know, you have to understand that it's something serious. It could cost you your life as a woman, as a lady. You know, a lot of women are getting killed by their boyfriends and their husbands. So take your time. Get to know a person. Talk. If they can't communicate with you, they want to cut you off, don't want to answer your questions and all those things, do yourself a favor and just say, you know what? I'd rather be single. 
I'd rather be single because they tell you right now, whatever they're doing, doing the talking stage, is they're gonna do the same thing during the dating stage, in the relationship, and also in engagement and marriage. So just do yourself a favor, take your time, and, and, and you know, and just build upon the relationship. Hey, the court, God bless you.